This video will demonstrate how to log data while training reinforcement learning agents. You can train agents using the built-in train function in the reinforcement learning toolbox. The train function outputs a data structure with training information. A lot of additional data is also computed during the training process, and it may be useful to log this data for further analysis. Examples of such data could be training losses, agent experiences, exploration parameters, and so on. The goal of this video is to cover the process of logging such data to file. The general workflow is to first create a data logger object using the RL data logger function. Then, configuring that object with one or more callback functions that log data at different stages of the training process. Finally, integrating the logger object with the train function by passing it as a name value argument. You can create the logger object using the RL data logger function. The default syntax of this function creates an object that logs data to MAT files. The logger object has configurable options that can be found under the logging options property. Here is a list of the logging options and a brief description for each of them. You can specify these options to configure the logging directory, add a prefix for the file name, specify version and compression configuration for the MAT files, or control the number of episodes you want to cache data before writing to file. The next step is to choose the data to log by specifying callback functions to the logger object. These functions are executed at different stages of the training process. For example, the episode finished function is executed after the end of a training episode. Here is an example to log the agent's experiences during the training process. You can configure the episode finished function property with a function handle. The function outputs the data to log after an episode, in this case, experiences. The function syntax is shown in the example code below. It accepts a variable called data as input, which is a structure containing information from the current stage of training. The fields of data includes the current episode count, the agent and environment objects, which can be used to extract underlying data such as learnable parameters, information about the episode such as the reward, and also a struct array of experiences. You can pass this experience array as the output of the function within a structure. That's all you would need to do to configure logging of experiences. Let's go a step further and log the actor and critic training losses. You can do this by specifying a function to the agent learn finished function property. The function will be executed after the learn subroutine has finished, which can be multiple times within an episode or after the end of the episode, depending on the agent algorithm or the training scenario. The function syntax is similar as before. However, you have access to data such as actor and critic training losses within the input variable data. The next step is to integrate with the train function. In this section, data logging is configured for training a DDPG agent with a continuous cartpool environment. The code shown here creates the agent, environment, and training options, which is the usual workflow for setting up a training. The logger is now passed to the train function as a name value argument. Let's run this section to start the training. While the training is in process, data is saved in the MAT files in the specified logging directory. The data is saved in the context of an episode with each MAT file containing data for the particular episode. After the training is finished, you can analyze the log data by loading it into memory. You can either write a script to load the MAT files iteratively in a for loop or load it using a data store. With the file data store function, you can read the MAT files from the logging directory all at once. The code loads the data in the MATLAB workspace under the variable called all data. You can now inspect the loaded data in MATLAB. You can index into the all data variable and extract data for a particular training episode and analyze it. For example, load the episode data field, which contains the experiences previously logged through the callback function. Similarly, you can also load the actor and critic training losses. You can also specify a function to format the data while loading into memory. The load actor loss function 
loads the actor loss data and converts it into a numeric array for convenience. To summarize, you can log data at different stages of the training process. The data can then be saved to disk and loaded into memory for further tracking and analysis. That concludes this demo.